Hello, team. We have a ship to fix. Again. Enjoy. We are going to go fix a ship. Uh, we're cur currently also under attack. Things are shooting at us already. So I'm going to go find out what's going on about that. Or we're firing at something. I'm not sure which. I'm also noticing I'm not seeing a shield indicator. Though that might be just because the bubble doesn't reach down here. Let's go find out what's going on upstairs. We're really firing at something. Oh, it's the Le Mans that's over there. There's a new ship down there, which is kind of fun. Also, Helios, thank you for your three years of subscription. Appreciate it. Yes, you can provide your own bad jokes. Okay, okay, the so shield is fine. There's the Hag B. There's a miner. An Enra! Nanananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananananan
Oh yeah. Okay. So I fixed this. There was a engine here. There was a thruster. It is gone. <laughs> so this thing's not moving anywhere. Wonderful. All right. Okay. You have an assembler. There's a battery. Scrapped. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, okay. Can I get food and water? Water? Let's try this. That does work. Okay, so. Just for fun, let's grab one of those. Perfect. Up there. Cargo to the main base still works. It's a good sign. This is a hole. Oxygen tanks are filled. Okay, so. We have a little bit of fixing to do. By a little, I mean a lot. We have some retrofitting to do, too. Okay. Where to start? Let's go down a deck. That's the beacon. That is... This is not meant to be a deck, but it could be. Uh, no, we don't. We don't have any welder mods. Um, we... I was thinking about adding tool core, but we don't have any of those. And at the moment, there's not a lot of tool core mods available yet, so... That'll get added on the to-do list. Steel. Yeah, I don't disagree with you there on that one. There, if it is rather annoying. Uh, can I get some light there? Perfect. Perfect. I do a little bit of uh, redesigning while we're in here. There's supposed to be a thruster that goes right there, which is exactly where it, what's going to go there. Uh, there's supposed to be a hydrogen tank right there that's obviously not there. Um, that's a th thruster bay. Let's get a block in there. Is that the right one? No, it's... This block doesn't make any sense to me in this particular list, but it's here anyways. Is that the right direction? Yes. Get that. The music is very lifting. <laughs> I gotta keep it upbeat somehow. Yes, I do remember when welders were like that. It was a long time ago. I feel like this should be store blocks. Because uh, this isn't super reinforced. It could be more reinforced. So I think it was just armor. Yeah. It was just armor. Nice to have some tougher bits back here. Like these aren't reinforced very much. Hello, Kalgar. So I, hi, I did see you in chat. I swear I'm keeping up, I swear. <laughs> uh, let's put another Lock here. And then we can put the blast door blocks in. Let's 
Let's see what that looks like. The gap on the last door blocks is kind of handy. Yeah, there, if that's what we, we do too. The, uh, the Hagdi, um, which is our, the Hagdi and the, the SMS, which is the skill miner. We do the same thing. We have a, a repair projector on them. It's handy because you, you're sitting there, you're like, how is this thing supposed to go back together? And it's a nice advantage. This particular ship, we never got around to doing that. So it's obviously a problem. Uh, let's put the heavy armor blocks that need to go in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a cool idea because we were talking about doing something like that for the base. Uh, and Calgar, I did see. Um, I don't think I can fly the ship in there yet. <laughs> I think there's a key problem, and that's that the ship can't actually make it down into the hangar yet. Build planner is empty. Cool. It's build planner. Appreciate that. We had joked about having to repaint different parts of the base depending on how beat up they were. Okay. I'm gonna hold off on building anything in this space because there's gonna be a hydrogen tank in there. Okay. There's the hydrogen tank. So there should be... I think there is a... Shiba! Thank you for your subscription. For 33 months. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, so... Let's put... Uh, da, 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 da. what do I need? I need interior plates. I need some steel plates. Let's get... Blast door block in. And let's get... Heavy armor. And some more heavy armor. Pretty sure that's not a T-section. Yeah, that's just straight. Uh, and then this will be down there. And we need the ladder section. Ladder shaft. There we go. Now, is that facing the right way? It is. Wonderful. Grab those parts. Hello, hello. Yes. Heavy armor is weak. That's why it needs reinforcement. With our patented reinforcement techniques. <laughs> ah. It's all good, Calgar. Don't worry about it. Uh, I will... So I was saying earlier that I don't think I can actually move the... 
bip yet because it's missing a bunch of thrusters and stuff. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of fixing. Obviously, I'm not working on the thruster right now. I probably should be. Um, get this thing moved downstairs like you've suggested. And then we can go from there. We, uh, we broke the ship last time, Shiba. That's what happened. Yeah, we'll have to move it inside if we're going to keep it alive. It's okay. And I think we've got your core or aliens Corvette now. Oh yeah, you were asleep by then. Yes. Yeah, we broke the ship last time. I mean, we can't we can make that happen, Although, Alien ship is done, okay. Nothing no, I mean. We break the stuff all the time. Trevor, so. Uh, okay, that's that. Is the next one working? Yes, it is. Cool. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's a bad thing. Okay, cool. Uh, that is fixed. That's cool. That is a longbow missile launcher that is very damaged. That we can fix. Look at that. Is that sarcasm I hear, Shiva? Upstairs and see if I can build another one of those Avalons. As soon as I fix this so it doesn't explode. More large steel tubes. Wonderful. And now we're just down to motors. Ah! Calgar, you're working on that one. Perfect. Uh, I assume you're working on the burning thruster, Calgar. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs then and work on the Avalon out back that's missing. Uh, the ladder to the lower deck is fixed, by the way. So you can get from the hangar to the bridge. I love this broken ladder animation, it's great. Uh, okay, so you can get back here now. And in here we're missing a conveyor junction. to be going exceptionally well, Shiba. Did you... I guess you lost your beacons. Okay. 
okay, where is the junction? There it is. Then we need the Avalon Thruster. Oh, it's so beat up. Holy. This back half of the ship got really torn up. Too. What's the sim doing? Ooh, sim's not doing so great. Okay. Fall off this thing and die. Welding. More grids. Of course, I need more grids. Always need more grids. Remove the survival kit from the pod and my refinery, and I simply got destroyed by some kinetic rounds or something. Ow. Oh. Yeah. That will happen. is how Paradiso goes. Well, there's always room for you at Kunuki Base, and I'm sure Turnip Town is still there, but I don't know what shape it's going to be in. Nobody's been there in weeks. Months, even. Oh, my build planner's empty. Cool. I always wonder what sim is in SE. Sim is simulation speed, so it's the rate at which the um, simulation is running. Um, so the simulation is like, um, sim stands for simulation. Sim being uh, the, the physics iterations, the game calculations, all of the game thread processes that happen while you're playing the game to do things like run the game. So things like um, sim accounts for, or sim speed is a representation of how long things take to process, so. This time was a month of turn channel ship was on fire and pipes were rusty. Mm, yep. Well, I hope you, I wish you the best, and I hope you do everything fine over there, Shaiba. I mean, we are here to help if you want to help. I know you want to do it yourself, that's totally fine. The irony of that is, it's, it's so often people are like, hey, dude, we can do this for you. And when 
It's got kind of light, but we want to play the game too. <laughs> so. Um, I am, so speaking of playing the game, uh, Skoka and I have been talking about, and we've talked about it a number of times over the course of the couple of weeks, is like talking about what is Birdie So Season 2. What does it look like? How's it going to play out? Um, I am through most of the noodling that I was going to do before I start setting up a test server. So I'm probably going to do that in the next... Well, after I get the farm sim server up. That's the task for this week. Um, and then probably look at setting up a test server for season two. It will be very testy. It will be very like, just like what we did with this server, uh, which is very, it will be a long testing phase and trying to figure out, okay, what is, what works or doesn't work with the mod set that we want. As well as there's some new features and new experimental content, like there's a new version of Nexus and stuff like that, that will probably uh, make things complicated uh, and will probably make things difficult to actually do. So, uh, we need gold and platinum. I cannot make a thruster on here without fusion coils. We do not have any gold or platinum, so I guess I'm off to scrap things. Time to go a scrapping. I wonder if that Eidolon has got a bunch of good stuff on it. Oh. Um, I see what Alien was saying about the Hag D. Why is this not... Hmm. Love it when this thing glitches out. All right, let's try this. Connector switch lock. Here, okay. Control. Okay. Control. Ah. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Let's just go to batteries off. Grid might be borked. Oh, control. There we go. Ah. Yeah, let's jump in here now. Let's try this again. Nope, that's the base. What I want. Shift K. Cannot kick, take control. What? Antenna off? Weird. Is the base's antenna off? Hello, BD. I'm sure you... <laughs> BD's like, oh, look, a problem. Obviously, we've made the correct incantations. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's 
So you can do it from here. Yeah, at least, yeah, it's true. I don't think this is actually a mod issue at all, this particular problem, because this happens in, like, I've had this happen before. See, not available, cannot ex establish connection to grid. Wrong ownership setting, maybe? So you can get it here. I, I own the grid. Apparently, see, I own this particular thing. I can rename it. Oh, see if I go that way, it works. Oh, no, man. Welcome to Space Engineers. You have never played Space Engineers before, and you wanted to know what a buggy mess looks like, and then you added mods to it. Congratulations. Uh, okay, so... I was going to go scrap the Eidolon, but the Eidolon looks like it's still alive. So I'm not going to do that. What is on fire over here? That's a turret. All right, fine. There are still some wrecks nearby. Good sign. Uh, oh, yeah, the Eidolon? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go visit some of these. We know if the game audio is a little quiet for you folks. Probably can't even hear it. It's quiet because we're in third person. There we go. Wish one of those little ion frigates was still around. Those ion frigates leave a nice, tasty little reactor in the back end of them that can is worth stealing. Altitude. Warning. How far am I am I away from base? Ooh, we're rapidly approaching uh Limit. Uh, no, we're not. Five kilometers? I think everything's still within five kilometers. Speaking of ion frigates. Ah. Yoink. So much left but weapons. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. They get blown up pretty good. You have to get them at the right time. There's a Tainite deposit down here. This one's been here for a while. generator thrusters gravity components in this thing I bet Let's see if we can get some gravity components out of this bit we already got the shield generator on this. Let's see if there's any other tasty goodies. Uh oh. <laughs> there is another ship here. 
Uh, that swap from remote third person to camera taking first person almost broke your pre-coffee brain. <laughs> Uh, yep. I aim to confuse. It's kind of my job. Oh, there's a thruster down there. This is leftover from a chunk of ship that was made static. Save on sim speed. Don't need that anymore. Uh, there's a beacon. Some O2 H2 generators. There's like one ion thruster left on this thing. All right. Back to base. Need to unload this. There you go. More brain breakage for you, BD. Triggered the other coffee addict there, uh, BD. Just me. Clearly forgot that would work. <laughs> I mean, hey, it does. So I didn't come back with any of the material I actually needed, though. That's a problem. Is this connector still hooked up? Hope so. Looks like it is. Some streaming going on. on the connector. Come on. You gonna light up for me or not? Come on. There we go. Charge. Um, components. And here. Ooh, there's 50 uranium in something. That's nice. Too. Oh, BD, I thought of something else that would be handy for inventory mod. We end up labeling our our containers like this and then sorting them. This is this is very much like Izzy's thing. Like we do this manually. Like we'll set the controls on the on the container and then manually configure that, and then we name it. But being able to set your own custom groups would be handy. I know BD's excited about my uh, proposition. He's using the uh, displeased hand on hips gif right now, if he could. Be like, you're annoying, stop asking me for things. <laughs> We're gonna go grind down that beacon in that ship so it goes away. Don't need it. Left on it anyways. Yeah. So you could take inspiration from from either the way Drago does it, which is via setting 
filters. So you set a filter for the items in the container, or you do it via Izzy's method, which is it groups it based on preset, predetermined groups. Izzy's also automatically assigns based on stuff. They <laughs> introduced you to the data solution sorters. Yeah, I know, right? The funny part is that if I apply the same the same razor that I did for when we were talking about when we were talking about structural reinforcement and wanting to encourage people to build things and do stuff, if I applied the same razor, sorters would be the solution. You're right, hundred percent. The sorters are an inelegant solution when it comes to managing the inventory out. So you need a sorter on either side. It's not the end of the world by any means, it's just annoying. What is that? What gun is that? What gun is that? the smart turret? I have never built one of these. I have no idea what it is. Yeah, it's not QL. It's quality of pain. <laughs> it's true. So hello, turnip. I don't know what gun this is. It's sitting right on a conveyor, too. There's a thruster. Round bison chili is now simmering. Nice. the thruster, not the stuff around it. Come on, let's go. There we go. UI for that would be a single spinach. I don't doubt that, PD. And know that we appreciate the work you do. I know that that will be a lot of work. And even if it just does, like, if we, if we just do the MVP, we can throw that on Paradiso and see what it looks like. I mean, I would always give it more time, Dre. Are you using Ground Bison? It is too bad that I, Izzy's is fortunately heavy. What it comes down to. Part of me wishes that you could actually make Izzy's or something like it uh, a plugin. Oh, I was just saying that, like, even if you, even if you get, just get the MVP going, and it's very simple terms of UI. Like it's just like a bunch of drop down menus in the in mod menu. It's fine for now. Though I'd realize that's probably not realistic in terms of how it actually needs to function. Just getting it started to see what how it would work. How functional is functional. Bison. Ground bison's quite uh, straight to gold. Yeah. No user testing. No review. Come on. I'm 
external test file that, yeah, I mean, that works. I mean, that works for me. Good luck getting Skoka to do that. Oh yeah, it'd be a perfect spreadsheet game for a turnip then. Come on, hold it together please. It's a useful thruster here that I want to grind down. drop all this off before I make a critical mistake and bite off more than I can chew. Text-based formats. I mean, everything's a text-based format at some point, I guess. The real downside to this ship is the amount of thrusters we have to rebuild and the amount of platinum we're going to need to do it. That's going to be a problem. Unless we take alien ship to the uh, other planet. That'll be a long trip, though. though I guess today would have been the day for it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yep, here we go. Charge, inventory. We're gonna go components. Oh yeah, smart projectiles. That's what that was. I never used that gun. We're gonna let that charge for a minute. Does that have enough room for a, a miner? I don't remember. I thought it was I thought it had room for two SCO miners. Or am I thinking of the other ship? Because he's got two different ships, right? Where he had two different blueprints. No hangar. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we should take that as a, an escort. Well, we've made some of the uh, fusion coils, so obviously what I was doing was working. I'm going to have to go look at the other... There's a couple of big wrecks past what I was just looking at. I wonder how many thrusters they have left. Did you queue up the fusion coils and the thruster components for the thruster you're working on, Kalkar?
We'll do, okay. All right. Just so we know what we're waiting on. Okay, let's go find another wreck. I don't think there's anything left of the one I was just working on. So, we'll go look at the two big... I think they're... Glums or well, no, they're uh, open tights. Yeah, there's a couple open tights in the distance over there. You can see what's left. three of them right over there. Just do a quick drive-by of this one, make sure there's nothing missing. Or nothing I have I have missed. I don't think there is. Didn't see anything particularly useful. Freaky. Thank you for your resub. For 36 months. Yes, that's what we do. Freaky, we do chores. That's all we do. All comes down to how much you like doing those chores. Ooh, there's a couple of thrusters right there. Wink. And get shot at, yes. I don't, I don't think Freaky's gonna farm sim turnip. I mean, it's it's just more of his job. <laughs> Not quite, but job adjacent. Let's go give what these open tides of one summer. Let's see what we can get. They might be so old that there's not worth getting any. Still punishing yourself. Yes, I know, that's true. Everybody's got their own vices, though. While I, to your point there, Freaky, while I think that there are some elements of that in Farmson, it's not what you're looking for. Not to the detail that you want. together. Now this is a raging, raging, raiding Argentavis. No, this is an open tide. Look like a raiding, a raiding Argentavis. Obviously it is not. Fire too. 
Normally there's some good thrusters on this thing. Ooh, but there's a nice big laser. Yoink. Certainly more accurate than, uh, than, uh, eco. But I, like I said, it's not, uh, all perfect. Ooh, okay, stop touching that. Okay, there's some good bits on there. There's a railgun. Come back for that. Yeah, it wasn't the thruster I want though. I want I want ion thrusters. Those are Atmos. There's like two or three big Atmos on there. Which if I needed nickel, that would be great, but we don't need nickel. I need gold and platinum. So the railgun is what I really want. And the lasers, because the lasers have superconductors. And the railgun has superconductors and it has No, it's just got superconductors. So that's really what I'm after. I think there's a... I don't know for sure. I wondered if there was a greenhouse mod for... Um, for farm sim. But it again, it wouldn't have the same things you're looking for. Either way. Everybody's got their own thing. I think I'm going to park this inside and let it charge, because it's down to 50% now. And while I do that, we're going to go for a break. Are there? I mean, I haven't played Farm Sim enough to know that there's greenhouses in there. Charging. Components. Somebody bought some uh, inhibitor inhibitor nullifiers. Huh. sit here and let that do its thing and I will come back in a few minutes. Well maybe I won't hang on. Yeah we'll give it another minute or so. Hang on. I'm gonna charge this. I'll pop out of here. Maybe that'll fix itself in a few minutes. This is it's the yellow scum miner. Are we low on magnesium by any chance? I don't think we are. Magnesium. Oh no, we're definitely not low on magnesium. Cool, 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 cool. There's some more fusion coils. Oh yeah, that's working, okay. Uh... Refineries are working on their things. Oh yeah, grabbing some field emitter scrap. What's getting us a whole bunch of platinum? Nice. Okay. 
I am pleased about that. Did add this inventory summary from status report as a button to assemblers? What? Oh. I was just going to go look at the thing. I was like, where is it? Where? Give me. <laughs> Freaky has a very specific definition of, uh, of greenhouse. Uh, okay. Tofu. run downstairs and I will jump into a bed and I will take a break for a couple of minutes. Green colored and house shaped. Very nice. <laughs> that's that's the, the community definition of greenhouse. Uh, very specific. Very specific. Combat phase now active. All the work that I've done to make that ship more uh, in one piece is going to go away. Cool, 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 cool. No more snacks? <laughs> Garplan to heaven got snacks up nearby. And Freaky has done 11 creme brulees in four days. sense now. Okay. Pringles pizza? <laughs> Someone has been paying attention. And Calgary got some pizza flavored Pringles chips. Skoka's on her lunch break, so she's now in the kitchen making her lunch. And she's making me a snack, which is great. But they're not, definitely not pizza-flavored Pringles. Mmm, coffee. Skoka had the opportunity to go buy some, and she didn't. She totally forgot, she says. She forgot, air quote. Forgot. I don't think we're going to go today. No. I don't think you can hear Skook in the background yelling at me, but it's a lot of yelling. I mean, it's kind of doing that. Not really. All right. Speaking of shopping, I need to go to the Mall of Rex and uh, go see. There you go. Calgar says that they can hear you. Paleo says hi. Okay, well, whatever I... I mean, apparently using this has unborked the... Uh, uh, egg D. So there you go. Next iteration of the Hag D needs more side thrusters. Like a lot more side thrusters. Let's go visit the uh, wreck pile we were just at. There's some good things in there. Oh yeah, there's still a railgun that I need to get. Oh, and actually, if that Obentide is as intact as it 
as I think it is, there might still be a jump drive in the back too, but even better. Get us some premium scrap. Oh, some snack. Mmm, snack. Mm, snack. Ah. Right <laughs> Distracted by the bye bye. snack. Oh, Skoka is here to gloat about how she's to enjoying her, her course. I'm and taking a course on a Sunday. Why would I gloat about She's that? on bereavement from... Uh, bereavement? Bereavement from space engineers. <laughs> it's like... It's caused me great trauma. Yeah. She can't handle it anymore. Yeah. She's even going to miss Farm Sim next week. I'm I very am. disappointed. Because it's two Sundays in a row. Ugh. Ugh. The worst. Hello, Railgun. Yoink. The six meter per second wind is not helping me right now. No. All right. Well, I gotta have my lunch. Okay. Have fun, everybody. Have fun lunching. Yeah. We'll see you later. Bye, Skoka. We know you hate us. Constantly abandoning us. And okay. There's big gun here, I can steal too. Yoink. I know. She doesn't love us anymore. Apparently, I'm going to get that gun later. All right, let's see if there's anything else that's good on here. Oh, there's a nice big thruster. I want that. Guns firing at an unknown signal. Cool. That for now. Yep. I'm trying really hard to miss it, too. Streaming. I don't know what. Really, it's just the base. Oh, Candor says, regarding Helldivers 2 server issues, apparently, if someone invites you to a lobby, it bypasses the server queue. Oh, isn't that interesting? Little exploity. Blow. 
Come on. Wind is pushing me around. Come on. Yeah, come on. Too far. Taking fries are done. There we go. Charge, inventory, components. Let's go. Wow. What am I doing here? What am I doing? There we go. Ah! Red guns in a. That's obviously going in the wrong spot. Go. Uh, refineries. Oh, yeah, there's some thruster components. Focus now watching TV. the number of lobbies they're having issues with rather than individuals. Ah. Uh, mm, maybe. Depends on how their infrastructure is set up. At the end of the day, it's still concurrent connections, right? So if you can't even get into the menu, because that's, they're too busy, their servers are too full. That's be like a different indicator. Unless every player gets their own lobby as soon as they connect, which is questionable. Not in the, they would never do that, but in the, they would do that, but that's a poor design choice. Anyways. It is really freaking dark out here. Uh, well, not dark, but like impossible to see because of the storm. Let us see if we can make it out to where I was. Very sense of unease into rooms with dark. <laughs> this is very, uh, very Snyder Cut. Marvel Jesus, Marvel Jesus. I think we only vaguely smell what you're stepping in. There, uh, freaky. I realize that's probably a quote. Several months until Deadpool uh, 3 comes out. A lot of Grimberland. Ooh, uh, that's a trombone. Either way. Uh, yes, Deadpool 3 comes out so in a few months. That's kind of exciting. It is interesting. The angle they decided to take with that. I'm just going to drop a whole bunch of gyroscopes on things, aren't I? Oh, no, I'm not, because it's static grid. Ha-ha. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yes. That's, uh, they filmed all of it in Vancouver. Mostly because Ryan Reynolds insisted. If I remember correctly. I saw them film um, the Vespa chase scene right in front of my old work. Yeah, we walked that, like one of those, that Vespa chase scene, we walked right along that route, basically. It's cut up a little bit and repeated a lot in the movie, but it's basically that route. Incoming Obentide. Ah, uh, yes, I see that. Might have to take the uh, mine back to the base. Once you once you recognize the th the place, your brain starts looking at it, going, "Wait a minute, this looks familiar." You end up doing that with Stargate. And it's actually there's a uh, you do that in Battlestar too. Uh, yeah, it is heading away from us. Perfect. Um, the in Battlestar and in, like there's a a Halo short series um, that was pretty good. Uh, that was filmed all at uh, Burnaby Mountain SFU campus. Uh, SFU stands for Simon Fraser University, which is one of the universities out here. And it, it's a university that the campus is built on top of a air quote mountain. It's, it's a really big hill, but it's they just they call it that. Um, and it is, uh, it's got this very distinct brutalist architecture. Um, and so it's big concrete bunkers and lots of like really strong, scary looking pillars and stuff. Um, and in Battlestar, that's the same place. Um, sorry, in Battlestar and in Stargate. In Stargate, it's the home of it's like a, one of the advanced races that um, they're just human-like. It's got the ability to like walk through the the iris and walk through walls. Um, <clears throat> but they so their home city is that is Burnaby Mountain Campus, and in Battlestar, it's Caprica City or part of Caprica City. It's um, where Six has that scene with the baby. Uh, and then in this Halo series, it's a, it's a military academy. But every time you see it, it's like it's it's very distinctly. Oh, that's uh, SFU. So. Oh, I see that. Okay, I'm almost back. We just blew a big chunk of it off because the T400s just keep hitting it. Keep seeing the glow from the, yeah, the Talon. Speaking of Stargate, I was having a hard time figuring out what the gate address on Drabauer's tattoo is. And it's been bothering me ever since I saw it. I was like, wait a minute. I can't remember if it's Abydos or if it's Earth, but I thought it was Abydos. Charge, drop this stuff off. Um, components. Inventory. Uh, 
ray. Oh, there's some specter shells. Handy. Hey. Okay. I'm gonna move this inside because it should be enough. But first off, we're under attack. Second, um, we should have enough to get those thrusters built. So maybe I can move the ship inside. Tide still moving away. Serve sort of restart in five minutes. Yeah. Needed to park this anyways. Okay, that's fixed. We run downstairs. Yeah. Some sim stuff that I have to figure out one day. Welder. Oh, lag for a sec. Uh, let's run over and look at the ship that Calgar and Alien built just for fun. Nice. Nice. Yeah, this is well done. You're gonna have to come in at an oblique angle every time you're looking at something, but it's uh it's good. Got a much better layout than mine. Good. Like this. Aliens in the ship. It's good. Part of the ship, part of the crew. Like I like the 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 labeling for this. Down. <laughs> or down. Pretty good. I like this. It's a great job. Very compact. Ocean tanks. Yeah. Nice. Does it have a shield? Yes, it does. Okay. This thing's going to be maneuverable because it's got lots of big Epstein's on it. Pretty good. Likey. Cool. Is it a silversmith? Okay. Alrighty. Thing should be fast. All right, well, let's run downstairs. Oh, I just heard somebody finish a thruster. <laughs> Bet you that thruster works now.